When the last time you look in the mirror? When the last time you look in the mirror? They got a mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Now the mirror I'm talking about is the Bible. Because the Bible is a mirror. And the reason why people don't, don't look in the mirror because the Bible exposes people's sin. What? Well, the Bible exposes people's evilness. The Bible exposes your ugliness. The Bible exposes that go to God that you are a sinner need to be saved. Why people don't look in the mirror? Hey, go to God. Because a mirror gives a reflection of who you are. My friend, people might see the wrong you. Hey, you might tell people that you are not, but when you read the Bible, it say what well, man of man you are. So people don't look in the mirror. Hey, glory to God. I'm not talking about a mirror that you have on your wall. I'm not talking about a mirror that you have in the living room. Hey, glory. I ain't talking about a mirror that you have in the bathroom. I'm talking about a mirror, which is called the Bible. There's a lot of time people don't read me. I mean read the Bible. Your Bible is dusty. The only time you read the Bible when you're in trouble. Which is which is good. Hey, go to God. Because the Bible gives us direction. The Bible gives us deliverance. And the Bible exposes the demon that's in us. My friend, when the last time you read the Bible? When the last time, my friend, you really study to show thyself approved unto God? I work by the need like machine rightly dividing the word of God. My friend, a lot of people don't read the Bible. You know, people don't read the Bible because they say they have no time to read the Bible. But when trouble comes, they get the Bible. They run for the Bible. They, you, can't, you can't stop them from reading the Bible because they're in trouble. But David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praise shall continue to be in my mouth. My soul shall make a boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. So I'm telling you, when the last time you look in the mirror, a lot of people don't look in the mirror when they're going through good time. Hey, glory to God. When they're going through dandy time, when they're going through marvelous time. But when trouble comes, hey, glory to God. David said, I call upon the Lord when I'm in trouble. People just read the Bible. They look in the mirror. Hallelujah. When they're in trouble. What I say? They look in the mirror when they're in trouble. They want the mirror to help them with their disgraceful behavior. But I'm telling you, my friend, we should let the Bible go to God become our source of direction. Hey, what I say? We should let the Bible become the source of our direction. Without the Bible, my friend, I don't know where I'll be. I can tell you where I'll be. I'll be in sin. I'll be a sinner on my way to hell. But I'm so glad I picked up the mirror. Hey, glory to God. Because if I didn't pick up the mirror, my friend, I'd be on my way to hell like, like, like a lot of you all. So I'm not, I'm not here to judge you now. I'm here, hey, glory to God, to show you justice. I'm here to show you judgment. I'm here to show you, hey, glory to God, a God that's going to judge you one day. And I'm telling you, if you're watching this video, my friend, the mirror is the best book that ever been written. You talking about the book of Genesis, it talk about origin. Where people, my friend, if you don't know who you are, if you don't know if you're a man or woman, the Bible can tell you who you are. The Bible say, glory to God, he made male and female. It didn't say he made female and female, or male and male. The Bible say he made male and female. Hey, go to God. The Bible talk about slavery. Let's talk. Can we talk about slavery? The Bible talk about slavery, my friend. And the slavery he's talking about is not the slavery of injustice. He talk about slavery. Hey, glory to God. If a man hallelujah, couldn't pay back his debt, he put himself as being a slave to pay off his debt. But you know something? A lot of you all that's watching this video, you have credit cards. And you are a slave to the creditors. You are slaves to the person that you, you trust in. You ask for a loan. And you keep on working just to pay the loan. My friend, that's why I say a lot of people don't read the Bible. And, I, and the reason why I don't read the Bible, my friend, because the atheist 
tell them that slavery was unjust. But guess what? Hallelujah, you wrong about it. Because the slavery of the Bible is a slavery which is different of our society. And you're talking about, glory to God, how a man rape and then married a person that he raped. My friend, we need to read the Bible because the Bible don't talk about that. We are quick to judge the Bible. A mortal man, a mortal woman, hallelujah, got audacity to judge the Bible. My friend, but the Bible is the mirror. And a lot of you all, y'all don't look in the mirror. Huh? You look in other books, you look in Harry Potter's book, you look in the newspaper, you look in stars, you look in gossip, the gossip news, the news magazine, but you never look in the Bible, which is to save your soul. What I'm saying to you, if you're watching this video, my friend, I'm trying to tell you the best book to read is the Bible. I say, see, a lot of people don't like to be condemned. Hey, glory to God. But the only way to get out of condemnation is to be saved. Because the Bible say, there's no condemnation. Hey, glory to God. Those that are in the spirit and not in the flesh. Hey, glory to God. So if you want to get out of condemnation, give your life to Jesus Christ. So why people don't look in the mirror? This is the reason why people don't look in the mirror. Because the mirror, hey, glory to show the darkness of you. The mirror expose your darkness. And a lot of people don't like to be disposed. Hey, God, don't like to be, be exposed. Hey, God, to God. That's why I love preaching on the witches. Because I want the witches to, I want the witches to know that you are evil. You are wicked to the core. I want to show the, the, the witches that they know good thing that dwell in you. I want the witches to know that you're not a, you're not a good witch. Because there's no such thing as a good witch. If you cast casting spells on people, you ain't a good witch. I was talking to the witch a couple of couple of months ago and how somebody jumped her son. Hey, glory to God. Why somebody jumped her son and she went home and cast spells on those youth and put the youth in a Mr. Institute. Hey, glory to God. They they lost they they, lo they lost their mind for a moment. And she come back and say she's a good witch. Well, you're not a good witch because the Bible says, Vengeance is mine, said the Lord. I will repay. So if you're repaying people for doing your son bad, you are a bad witch. Because ain't no good witch, my friend. Only good witches are only on television. Well, I say good witches are only on television. Like the, like the bewitch. Our gene of a good genie. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. So I'm telling you, my friend. They know such thing as a good witch. Hallelujah. And another book, my friend, it talk about the atheist. Yeah, the book talk about the atheist. Because the Bible says he went to Athens and he saw an inscription to the unknown God whom you ignorantly worship. Him I declare unto you. The Bible talk about the atheist, my friend. The Bible say the fool of sinner's heart. There's no God. Hey, glory to God. So, my friend, when the last time you look in the mirror, the Bible say, my friend, if you are, hallelujah, need strength. The Bible says, joy of the Lord is your strength. The Bible says, if you're afraid, the Bible says, perfect love casts out fear. The Bible talk about, my friend, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mother wings as an eagle. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be faint and not faint. So I'm telling you, my friend, if you have fear, the Bible says, yea, thou walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thou rod, that staff, that comfort me, that prepares a table for me in the presence of my enemy, that knows my air with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. If you need, hallelujah, to overcome fear, the Bible says he not give the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. When the last time, hallelujah, you look in the mirror. My friend, I'm cut. I come and tell you, if you look in the mirror, my friend, you can know that there's a place called hell and there's a a place called the lake of fire if you look in the mirror my friend if the bible tell you my friend when you die if you are christian glory to god god gonna wipe all tears from your eyes hey glory to god if you are a sinner you will face the the white throne judgment 
in the book of Revelation 20th chapter. So I'm telling you, my friend, when the last time you look in the mirror, mirror, mirror on the wall, glory to God. So the mirror is the Bible. When the last time you read the Bible, hey, glory to God. People want to read the Bible when they're going through storms, when they're going through rain. Hallelujah. But the Bible talk about glory to God, a house upon the sand and a house upon the uh, upon the rock. And the Bible say the house upon the rock stand and the house upon the stand on the sand. Glory to God. It washed away. My friend, the rock, the rock is Jesus. Well, I say the rock, hallelujah, is Jesus. If you don't put your trust in Jesus, my friend, hey, glory to God, you're going to be washed away. But I could stop by to tell somebody, my friend, when the last time you look in the mirror, when the last time, glory to God, you look in the mirror, and I'm talking about not the mirror, the physical mirror. I'm talking about the Bible, because the book of Hallelujah James say, hey, glory to God, what manner of man you are. You forget what manner of woman you are. People look in the mirror, and they look, hallelujah, if they're not saved, they think they're saved. But when you look in the mirror, my friend, the mirror say, you need Jesus. Hey, hey, glory to God. I feel good. I feel like preaching, my friend. But look at me now. People don't read the Bible. You know why they read the Bible? Because I say it's just a book. But I come and tell you, this is not just a book. He said, I sent forth my word and my word healed them. He sent forth my word. My word are spirit and they are life. Oh, glory to God. I come and tell you, my friend, the Bible is not just a book. Oh, glory to God. You might think it's a book, but I come and tell you, the same book going to damn you and the same book can save you. The same book, my friend, going to go into judgment. Hallelujah. And it's going to damn you. Glory to God. So I come and tell you, my friend, look in the mirror. The mirror can save you. Hey, glory to God. I'm talking about a mirror called the Bible. The Bible, my friend, the Holy Scripture. I remember, glory to God, in the unit. He was on, glory to God. He was going on his way to Candace. And glory to God, he was reading the book of Isaiah. And he was saying, he asked Philip, he said, Philip, what the scripture is talking about? He said, talking about Jesus. Hey, glory to God. And the Bible said, the man said, what hindered me? Here's water. What hindered me to be saved? And the Bible said, he stopped and both went down into the water. And Philip vanished out the way. So I'm telling somebody, my friend, the book, hallelujah, can save you. And the book, my friend, is going to damn you. Hey, glory to God. So wake up, people, and realize when the last time you look in the mirror. When I say when the last time, hey, glory to God, you look in the mirror. The mirror is the word of God. The mirror, hallelujah. The Bible say, don't labor for the meat that perish, but labor for the meat that do it to everlasting life. The Bible say, man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. One last time. What I say? When the last time you look in the mirror, hey, glory to God. I know, I know you might say, glory to God. You are, you are beautiful. But the Bible says, favor is deceitful and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, do you fear God? Hallelujah. She shall be praised. So if she don't fear God, don't praise her. What I say? If she don't fear God, don't give her no praise. She like a baboon. If you don't fear God, when the last time you look in the mirror, glory to God.